The armed forces of the Russian Federation, commonly known as the Russian Armed Forces, are the combined military forces of Russia. They comprise the world's fifth largest military in terms of active duty personnel, with at least two million reserve personnel. Ranked as the world's second most powerful military, the Russian armed forces possess the largest stockpile of nuclear weapons in the world, surpassing the arsenal of the United States. They operate the second largest fleet of ballistic missile submarines, and are one of only three militaries that operate strategic bombers. Russia claims to have the world's largest tank fleet, and maintains a powerful aerial and naval force. In 2020, Russia had the fourth highest military expenditure in the world at 61.7 billion United States dollars. Russian law mandates one-year drafting for all male citizens aged 18 to 27. However, deficiencies have been noted in combat performance, both on the tactical and the operational scales, during the invasion of Ukraine in 2022, with different parts of the military struggling to work together. The Russian Air Force is a branch of the Russian Aerospace Forces, the latter being formed on 1 August 2015 with the merging of the Russian Air Force and the Russian Aerospace Defense Forces. The modern Russian Air Force was originally established on 7 May 1992 following Boris Yeltsin's creation of the Ministry of Defense. However, the Russian Federation's Air Force can trace its lineage and traditions back to the Imperial Russian Air Service and the Soviet Air Forces. Now let's come to the most important fighter aircrafts in the Russian Air Force. MiG-29. The Mikoyan MiG-29 is a twin-engine supermaneuverable fighter aircraft designed in the Soviet Union. Developed by the Mikoyan Design Bureau as an air superiority fighter during the 1970s, the MiG-29, along with the larger Suhoi Su-27, was developed to counter new U.S. fighters such as the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle and the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon. The MiG-29 entered service with the Soviet Air Forces in 1982. While originally oriented towards combat against any enemy aircraft, many MiG-29s have been furnished as multirole fighters capable of performing a number of different operations, and are commonly outfitted to use a range of air-to-surface armaments and precision munitions. The MiG-29 has been manufactured in several major variants, including the multirole Mikoyan MiG-29M and the navalized Mikoyan MiG-29K. The most advanced member of the family to date is the Mikoyan MiG-35. Later models frequently feature improved engines, glass cockpits with HOTAS-compatible flight controls, modern radar and infrared search and track sensors, and considerably increased fuel capacity. Some aircraft have also been equipped for aerial refueling. Following the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the militaries of a number of former Soviet republics have continued to operate the MiG-29, the largest of which is the Russian Air Force. The Russian Air Force wanted to upgrade its existing fleet to the modernized MiG-29 SMT configuration but financial difficulties have limited deliveries. The MiG-29 has also been a popular export aircraft. More than 30 nations either operate or have operated the aircraft to date. As of 2013 the MiG-29 was still in production by Mikoyan, a subsidiary of United Aircraft Corporation since 2006. MiG-31 the Mikoyan MiG-31 is a supersonic interceptor aircraft that was developed for use by the Soviet Air Forces. The aircraft was designed by the Mikoyan Design Bureau as a replacement for the earlier MiG-25, Foxbat. The MiG-31 is based on and shares design elements with the MiG-25. The MiG-31 is among the fastest combat jets in the world. It continues to be operated by the Russian Air Force and the Kazakh Air Force following the end of the Cold War and the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. The Russian Defense Ministry expects the MiG-31 to remain in service until 2030 or beyond. That was confirmed in 2020 when an announcement was made to extend the service lifetime from 2000 2,500 to 3,500 hours on the existing airframes. MiG-35. The Mikoyan MiG-35 is a Russian multirole fighter that is designed by Mikoyan, a division of the United Aircraft Corporation. Marketed as a 4 plus generation jet fighter, it is a further development of the MiG-29M, M2 and MiG-29K, 
Cub fighters. According to a Russian defense industry source Mikoyan MiG-35 is essentially an upgraded variant of MiG-29KR. Many consider MiG-35 a new name given by Mikoyan for marketing. The first prototype was a modification of the aircraft that previously served as a MiG-29M2 model demonstrator given temporary name MiG-35 but a later prototype was a different model with different equipment that served as the base for the MiG-35 as is known today. McCoyan first officially presented the MiG-35 internationally during the 2017 Moscow Air Show. The first two serial production aircraft entered service in 2019. The single-seat version is designated MiG-35S and the two-seat version mig 35 up The fighter has vastly improved avionics and weapon systems compared to early variants of MiG-29, notably new precision-guided targeting capability and the uniquely designed optical locator system, which relieves the aircraft from relying on ground-controlled interception systems and enables it to conduct independent multirole missions. Serial production aircraft use a PESA radar and there is also an option available for AESA radar. The serial production aircraft does not have thrust vectoring control as previously planned. Yak-130 the Yakovlev Yak-130 is a subsonic two-seat advanced jet trainer and light combat aircraft originally developed by Yakovlev and Airmachi as the Yak AEM-130. It has also been marketed as a potential light attack aircraft. Development of the aircraft began in 1991 and the maiden flight was conducted on 25 April 1996. In 2002, it won a Russian government tender for training aircraft and in 2010 the aircraft entered service with the Russian Air Force. As an advanced training aircraft, the Yak-130 is able to replicate the characteristics of several 4-plus generation fighters as well as the 5th generation Suhoi Su-57. It can also perform light attack and reconnaissance duties, carrying a combat load of 3,000 kg. Su-24 the Suhoi Su-24 is a supersonic, all-weather attack aircraft developed in the Soviet Union. The aircraft has a variable sweep wing, twin engines and a side-by-side -side seating arrangement for its crew of two. It was the first of the USSR's aircraft to carry an integrated digital navigation attack system. It remains in service with the Russian Air Force, Syrian Air Force, Ukrainian Air Force, Algerian Air Force and various other air forces to which it was exported. Su-27. The Suhoi Su-27 is a Soviet-origin twin-engine supermaneuverable fighter aircraft designed by Suhoi. It was intended as a direct competitor for the large United States fourth-generation fighters such as the Grumman F-14 Tomcat and F-15 Eagle, with 3,530-kilometer range, heavy aircraft ordnance, sophisticated avionics and high maneuverability. The Su-27 was designed for air superiority missions, and subsequent variants are able to perform almost all aerial warfare operations. It was designed with the Mikoyan MiG-29 as its complement. The Su-27 entered service with the Soviet Air Forces in 1985. The primary role was long-range air defense against American SAC B-1B and B-52G, H-bombers, protecting the Soviet coast from aircraft carriers and flying long-range fighter escort for Soviet heavy bombers such as the 295 Bear, 222M Backfire, and 2160 Blackjack. There are several related developments of the Su-27 design. The Su-30 is a two-seat, dual-role fighter for all-weather, air-to-air and air-to-surface deep interdiction missions. The Su-33, Flanker D, is a naval fleet defense interceptor for use on aircraft carriers. Further versions include the side-by-side two-seat Su-34 fullback, strike, fighter-bomber variant, and the Su-35 flanker E, improved air superiority and multi-role fighter. The Shenyang J-11 is a Chinese license-built Su-30. The Suhoi Su-30 is a twin-engine, two-seat supermaneuverable fighter aircraft developed in the Soviet Union by Russia's Suhoi Aviation Corporation. It is a multi-role fighter for all-weather, air-to-air and air interdiction missions. The Su-30 started as an internal development project in the Suhoi Su-27 family by Suhoi. The design plan was revamped and the name was made official by the Russian Defense Ministry in 1996. Of the Flanker family, the Su-27, Su-30, Su-33, 
Su-34 and Su-35 have been ordered into limited or serial production by the Russian Defense Ministry. The Su-30 has two distinct version branches, manufactured by competing organizations, NAPO and the Irkut Corporation, both of which come under the Suhoi Group's umbrella. NAPO manufactures the Su-30 MKK and the Su-30 MK2, which were designed for and sold to China, and later Indonesia, Uganda, Venezuela, and Vietnam. Due to NAPO's involvement from the early stages of developing the Su-35, these are basically a two-seat version of the mid-1990s Su-35. The Chinese chose an older but lighter radar so the canards could be omitted in return for increased payload. It is a fighter with both air supremacy and attack capabilities generally similar to the US F-15E Strike Eagle. Irkut traditionally served the Soviet air defense and, in the early years of flanker development, was given the responsibility of manufacturing the Su-27 UB, the two-seat trainer version. When India showed interests in the Su-30, Irkut offered the multirole Su-30 MKI, which originated as the Su-27 UB modified with avionics appropriate for fighters. Along with its ground attack capabilities, the series adds features for the air superiority role, such as canards, thrust vectoring, and a long-range phased array radar. Its derivatives include the Su-30 MKM, MKA, and SM for Malaysia, Algeria, and Russia respectively. The Russian Air Force operates several Su-30s and has ordered the Su-30 SM variant as well. Su-34 The Suhoi Su-34 is a Soviet-origin Russian twin-engine, twin-seat, all-weather supersonic medium-range fighter-bomber, strike aircraft. It first flew in 1990, intended for the Soviet Air Forces, and it entered service in 2014 with the Russian Air Force. Based on the Suhoi Su-27 flanker air superiority fighter, the Su-34 has an armored cockpit for side-by-side -side seating of its two-person crew. The Su-34 is designed primarily for tactical deployment against ground and naval targets, tactical bombing, attack, interdiction roles, including against small and mobile targets, on solo and group missions in daytime and at night, under favorable and adverse weather conditions and in a hostile environment with counter-fire and electronic warfare countermeasures deployed, as well as for aerial reconnaissance. The Su-34 will eventually replace the Su-24 tactical strike fighter in the 2-22M long-distance bomber. Su-35 the Suhoi Su-35 is the designation for two improved derivatives of the Su-27 air defense fighter. They are single-seat, twin-engine, supermaneuverable aircraft, designed by the Suhoi Design Bureau and built by the Komsomolska on Amur aircraft plant. The type was originally developed by the Soviet Union from the Su-27. It incorporated canards and a multifunction radar giving it multi-role capabilities. The first prototype made its maiden flight in June 1988. Following the dissolution of the Soviet Union Suhoi redesignated it as the Su-35 to attract export orders. Fourteen aircraft were produced and used for tests and demonstrations. One example had thrust vectoring engines and was in turn redesignated the Su-37. A sole Su-35 UB two-seat trainer was also built in the late 1990s that resembled the Su-30 MK family. In 2003, Suhoi embarked on a second modernization of the Su-27 to serve as an interim aircraft awaiting the development of the Suhoi Su-57 program. Also known as the Su-35, this version has a redesigned cockpit and weapons control system and features thrust vectoring engines in place of the canards. The type made its first flight in February 2008. Although it was designed for export, the Russian Air Force became the launch customer in 2009 with the production version designated Su-35S. China's People's Liberation Army Air Force have also placed orders. Su-57. The Suhoi Su-57 is a single-seat, twin-engine stealth multirole fighter aircraft developed by Suhoi. The aircraft is the product of the Pak FA fighter program, which is intended to be the basis for a family of stealth combat aircraft. Suhoi's internal designation for the aircraft is T-50. The Su-57 is the first aircraft in Russian military service designed with stealth technology, a multirole fighter capable of aerial combat as well as ground and maritime strike. The Su-57 incorporates stealth, supermaneuverability, supercruise, integrated avionics, 
and substantial internal payload capacity. The aircraft is expected to succeed the MiG-29 and Su-27 in the Russian military aviation arms. In addition to serving the Russian armed forces, the aircraft has also been marketed for export. After a protracted development due to various issues that emerged during trials, including the destruction of the first production aircraft in a crash before its delivery. The first aircraft entered service with the Russian Aerospace Forces in December 2020. The fighter is expected to have a service life of up to 35 years.